Okay guys, few people have asked how to make board cut catapults, like these ones. Well, the way I do them is with a bandsaw and a router, it takes seconds. But you can do them with simple handheld tools like a jigsaw and a dremel. You can pick jigsaws up from places like B&Q or other DIY shops for around 10 or £12 and they'll do the job for simple tasks like catapults. This is a dremel that retails at around 30 to £40 new. You can get them cheaper second hand and you can also get cheaper copies for around 10 to £12 from hardware shops and stuff like that. And these two tools will give you pretty much everything you need to make these type of catapults. And even more advanced catapults with different palm swells, fancy patterns, carvings and all stuff like that. Basically these are your two tools which you can pretty much do everything with if you don't want to splash out the cash on a router or a bandsaw. So let's get started. First off you need to cut round this as close as you can with the jigsaw. This is only a crap blade and it's loose, but I'm just going to show you, you don't need all the top technology to make it capable. Okay, so you've got a rough cut, and it is a very rough cut. That blade isn't even in level, as I say. I'm just going to show you how you do it. So simply and so easy. What you want to do now is take your Dremel, and you want to carefully go around all the outside, take rid of all these little sharp bits, so you've got yourself a nice level blank to start shaping. So you've got your blank, you've cut it out, you've got it lovely and level, it's perfectly even, the sides are square. What next? You haven't got a router, how do you round it evenly without messing it up? Well let me tell you, using the Dremel or any other sanding device that you've got, I'll go round to 45 degree angle. Don't forget you've got your nice 90, so dead in the middle and go all the way round at first, like so. Started to get the shape as you can see we've got the 45 round there round there and round there doing this first makes it easier to get your round over bit perfect instead of having it more round there and more square now now what we're going to do all the way round is take that point off like so and then that point off like so and then you can see straight away that we're already starting to get the round over so what i'm going to now is rip that edge off rip that edge off the two sharp bits just run the dremel round and then i'll show you what's next So now we've took the edges off, if you feel that it is almost curved already, now this is where the magic happens. We know that isn't a perfect curve, there's bumps, there's rough bits on it, but we know the general curve is pretty much the same all the way around. So when it's finished it will look like it's come out of a router. So now this is where the magic happens. All the way around the catapult, what you do now is you roll your Dremel like so. And the same round there, taking all the edges off, just following it round now. And what I guarantee you now is that edge round there and round there is a perfect curve. You know, if you could feel that, I know you can't feel by the video, but that is the perfect curve and it is exactly the same curve all the way around. So what we're going to do now is repeat the roll in the Dremel round, round the bottom, round this side and in the middle.
we fully rounded everything off. This now looks like it's been cut out by a bandsaw and routed. The curve on it is perfect all the way around. Now what we're going to do with the tips is exactly the same as we did before. We're going to put them at the angle first, both at the same angle. Piece of cake to do. Take that edge off, take that edge off, take that edge off, take that edge off, and then roll your dremel over, like so. And now we've got two perfect curves where the tips are. So you've seen me to that side. What I'm going to do now is knock the camera off. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Now what we've got here is the fork. Every curve on this fork is spot on. If you hadn't have seen me do it, you'd have thought it would have been done by a router. The curvature is perfect. Now we're going to need some band grooves. And what I've done, using the Dremel again, is I'll put the little Dremel bit in. It's the 9.5 bit, 9 .5 bit instead of the 13 mil bit. So what I'm going to do now is put some band grooves in like so. band grooves are in. Lovely and even. Now what I'm going to do with this is put some thumb and finger pads in so it feels a bit more ergonomic in the hand. I'm also going to skinny the waist down a bit because to get a good lock I like the waist skinned but this is just my personal preference you don't need to put the finger pads in and you don't need to skinny the waist I'm just showing you things that can be done with a simple tool like the jigsaw and the dremel so let's skinny the waist down it also acts like a fake palm swell you'll see what I mean when it's finished Again, the curve, it's the same theory. Start with the curve. Then take your points off, like I showed you at the beginning. There, and there. There. And there, and then let the rolling Dremel do the work. And it all marries in perfect. And there you go. That is the rough blank, the sandpaper will finish everything else. As you see, there's nothing done to that side yet, so what I'm going to do now is repeat this process on the other side, the finger pads and the fake palm swell. Then I'm going to give it a quick once over with the first rough bit of sandpaper and show you where we're at. So here it is, with minimal tools. It not finished yet by all means, it's only had a quick rub. There's a few little bumps and that in it, what needs sanding out, but it's just for video purpose to show you. It'll be a damn lot better when done. Obviously coated in polyurethane, it'll be scratch proof and have a nice shine to it, it'll have my signature in, a nice set of gamekeeper hunting bands. It was just to show you really what can be done with bare minimal tools. Nice slim waist, kicks out into a bit of a palm swell, nice finger pads. You know, you'd never tell in a million years this was done without a bandsaw and a rotor, it's exactly the same as the, the other products, it just takes about two or three times longer. This probably took about 20 minutes from start to finish, 25 minutes. It was a little bit doing it because I was doing it at arm's length instead of having it in my lap so I had more control on it. But uh, yeah, it's just to show you. And I hope this video has helped because a few have been on about it. And you know you can get the Dremel and the Jigsaw kit for about 20 to £30 second hand. You don't need powerful tools for catapults. You're only messing with little bits of wood. 
you're not messing with metal or cutting steel or anything so you know tiny little motors will be good obviously the more expensive ones will last longer and probably perform a little bit better but just for messing with wooden catapults there's really no need uh, I'll be doing another video soon because we can step down to no power tools at all we can get a little coping saw and we can use rasps so I will be showing to do that soon but for the price of a Dremel and a jigsaw you can pick up second hand or cheap ones for about 20 30 quid probably 40 quid the pair there's really no point in rasping away at it for ages and cutting it out with a little coping saw because you know this saves time like I say this is how I started when I first um, started making catapults and I used to sell a lot like this in my old Sapili ones I don't know if anybody remembers I'm just showing you as I say it's only been finished roughly in a 120 just for the video there's a few little bumps in it there there's a couple of little bumps on the palm saw there. Once it's sanded properly, it will all be flowing flush. So, uh, yeah, I hope the video was any good for you. And get yourself a jigsaw, get yourself a Dremel, get yourself some old bits of wood, start knocking your own catapults up. It's much cheaper than buying them. And plus, you've got the fun of making your own designs and the proudness of saying you've made it yourself. That is a lovely little gem in the end. Anyway. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and if there's any more videos that you want, any how-tos or anything, feel free to comment on this video, and I'll see what I can do for you. All the best guys.